The unemployment rate in the U.S. is down since last year, but many Americans are still without a job. Many in their 50s and 60s, too young to retire and sometimes considered too old to get rehired. Fox's John Hook has the details. Researchers at Boston College are now calling them the new unemployables. Workers in their 50s finding it almost impossible to land a job. Older workers who were laid off during the recession are losing jobs to younger colleagues. In fact, a new study shows those looking for work in their 50s are 20% less likely to get hired than workers between the ages of 25 and 34. A lot of the new jobs that are being created are really lower wage and really more designed for people that either got out of college or high school. The Labor Department reports that the average duration of unemployment for workers between the ages of 55 and 64 is 11 months. Jesus Pena is in his 60s and out of work now for almost two years. There is a big pool of employees out there. Um, a lot of them are much younger than I am. <clears throat> Capable, I don't know, because I work on my life, so I know I'm capable, but age is becoming a factor nowadays. Another problem preventing older workers from landing a job is being overqualified. They're losing lower paying jobs to those who are just entering the workforce. It's kind of you're in the position of since you've worked at one job for so long, it's actually counting against you. But Pena is not losing hope, and he's confident his experience will eventually help him land a job. My background, it's a long background, 25, 30 years in the field. They don't know that. <laughs> and I'm not saying I'm Mr. No at all, but I'm saying if somebody can do it, I can do it.